Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. And uh, man, what a great, great day it has turned out to be. And um, just looking forward to sharing to this morning's passage of scripture with you this morning. Um, just, just um, can't tell you how excited. I really am this morning just to kind of speak into your life and just share um, how good God is. And uh, you ever think about Wednesday? You know, most of the time some people say, oh, it's hump, hump day. You know, it's it's the middle of the week. It's, it's where, you know, churches gather together on Wednesday to do their youth group, their children's ministry, and their Bible studies. And right now in our church, we're studying the book of James and uh, just excited about the book of James. It is such an exciting book. And uh, in fact, tonight we're doing the taming of the tongue, which is is exciting to talk about. You know, uh, it talks about how the tongue is a difficult thing to tame. I um, was reading that part of my devotions this morning. All right, Miss Allison, good morning to you. I hope everything's going well. Good morning, Mom. This morning we're going to deal with Psalms 104 and 5 this morning. Psalms 104 and 5 in the English Standard Version. Uh, what exciting, exciting passage of Scripture this morning. The last couple days we've been dealing with, you know... Comfort and stuff, and um, today is an interesting day. Um, today I was looking at the date, and today is my father's birthday. He's he passed away almost a year ago, and today is his birthday. And so um, I was just thinking about that today. Um, so happy birthday, Dad, and hope you're enjoying heaven. So um, Psalms 104 and 5 says. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast endures forever. His faithfulness to all generation. So, think about this. Man, I, whenever I think about this, this verse, I, I think about, you know, how do you enter anything Uh when you enter gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, give thanks to him, bless his name. I, I think about, you know, walking into a, a, a big place with excitement, with, with, with praise on your lips. Good morning, Tracy. Just excitement. Um, I just know that when, when I, when I used to, when I was younger, uh, going to my youth group at First Assembly God in Kenosha, Wisconsin, I used to walk in the youth group, excited to go into youth group. We, um, uh, the Randersons was my youth leaders, and and we had this gigantic youth group, and I anticipated um, youth group every week. I I anticipate church, going to church. You know, excited about, ready to attend church. I mean. You think about it. Think about it in your, you know, when we prepare ourselves and we're ready to worship God, we prepare it in our heart. We come ready to praise the name when when we're ready to engage uh, in worship. So enter enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Right. So you're you're entering. You're 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 going through. Right. You're you're ready to engage and then give thanks. Uh, and bless his name. It's it's an engagement. It's that you're fully engaged with with what's happening. And then why? Why? Then the, here's the the why. You got you got this all going on. It's if you can picture it with me. It's this this moment. You're you're engaging. You're 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 entering. You're his course with praise. You're giving thanks. You're blessing his name. And then why? For he is good. For the Lord is good. His steadfast endures forever. His faithfulness to all generations. That answers the why. What are you doing? The why. And 
this is so important. We, we, we are literally in this verse, it's a Psalms. These are songs, but yeah, we, we know that there's songs on this, enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. There's songs about this, but man, when you sing that song, don't you engage on that, on that song? Don't you just like, yeah, I'm engaging. Uh, but you know, we, we don't have to have a song. We can engage literally, literally every single day, engage in the praises through our life. When we're driving, when we're sitting in our office chairs or whatever we're doing through our life, every single day, engaging with praise and thanksgiving. His courts, where is his courts? We wait. See, sometimes we wait till we enter the, the doorways of our church. We can praise him 24-7. We, we can praise him. We should. I mean, you, you think about how that is so important. Um, because his, the Lord is good all the time. His steadfast love endures forever. His faithfulness is, is to all generation. So the very fact is, we should be thankful. His, we should be praising him. We should be giving thanks to him. And I, I, as I'm, I'm, I'm reading this, I'm excited. I'm just thinking, why do we limit ourselves to the moment of Sunday morning when this is an engage, literally engaging. I mean, when we have windshield time, throw some praise and worship on. Um, sometimes I have limited uh, experience with Sirius XM and, and they, they have a station right after the message. The message keeps playing the same uh, music over and over. The very next station is Kirk Franklin Radio and they have uh, uh, black gospel and, and you know and I'm like yeah and 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 just the choirs and, and you know that kind of music and I crank that up and uh, I don't care because it my 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 car will be thumping and it I'll go past some of those those guys who got their bass jamming in their their cars and rumbling and I'll just have all these choirs is um, is so fantastic. So just think about that this morning. Engage, engage the Lord during these times. Engage praise, engage thanksgiving, engage giving thanks. Why? For the Lord is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. And he's faithful. And, uh, yep, that's a good song, Tracy. And uh, it's a Bible verse, too. We're supposed to praise him morning, day, and night, right? It's, it's I think it's a Proverbs, or is it? It's in the Bible. I know I read it not too long ago. So, when you think about this verse, so Psalms 100, four and five. So write this verse out. It's an ESV. Enter his gates with, gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generation. Write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So I see one prayer request. My mom asked for prayer today. And uh, if there's any other prayer requests, we're going to pray for those and believe God is, uh, is moving. So, um, so be praying tonight. Um, after church tonight, we have uh, a, a debriefing for first responders that dealt with the drowning from this Saturday that we had in our community, uh, three fatalities um, from a boat accident that 
um, I'm a part of tonight after church. So be praying for that. It's going to be, hi, Tommy. And so be praying for that. Okay, unspoken. Okay, thank you, Allison. Thank you, Mom. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much, and I do pray for my mom. Lord, I pray that you uh, are with her today. Encourage her. Uh, meet her very needs for her, and I thank you. I pray for Allison's Unspoken. Lord, you know what she needs, and you know how to answer her prayer requests. And Lord, I thank you for that. I pray, Lord God, for the Unspokens, Lord God, that we all may have. I pray that you just reach down and minister to those. I pray for those that are suffering with COVID and this disease, that Lord, that you just heal and that uh, you take care of that and you just wipe it out of our land. And I pray for our government that, Lord, that you give them wisdom on the decisions that they make. And I also pray, Lord God, that you give us the opportunity to bless somebody today and that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And I pray a blessing upon those that are watching now and those that will watch later. Encourage them, I pray. And Lord, give us a great day in your name. Amen. Hey, have an awesome, awesome Wednesday. Love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 630. Have an awesome day. Love you guys.